What I have realized and what science has shown is that if we hold space for our emotions for a mere 90 seconds, things will pass, it will move through us, and we can process and manage our emotions in a much more healthy way. That's what I wanna talk about today. I'm Heather Evans. For the best advice on self-care and personal empowerment, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click on that bell to get notified when I release new videos every Monday and Thursday. I don't know about you, but there are times where I just get so overwhelmed by my emotions. I mean, I've had crying jags that have lasted a few hours. I have sat in anger and frustration for a couple of days where I just shut myself down and close myself off because I can't let any of it out. What I have realized and what science has shown is that if we hold space for our emotions for a mere 90 seconds, things will pass, it will move through us, and we can process and manage our emotions in a much more healthy way. Yes, 90 seconds, can you believe it? I didn't believe it either until I started working with this with both myself and my clients. Here is how it works. We will be experiencing an emotion, a sensation, and the first thing we need to be doing is tapping into, okay, where am I feeling this sensation in my body? I talked about having that sensation of anger or frustration and how I closed myself off. And if you noticed when I did that, I tightened up, I contracted. I can feel it in my stomach, my fists start to clench, my shoulders tighten up, my jaw clenches. So that's the first thing I wanna do is I want to notice what's happening in my body. I notice the contraction if I'm angry or frustrated. The next thing I want to do is I want to sit with that for 90 seconds. And as you start doing this, you might even want to set a timer. That's right. Pick up your phone and set a timer for 90 seconds. And just allow that sensation, allow that emotion to be present. Now, 90 seconds might feel like a long time at first, but Trust me on this, if you can hold there for 90 seconds, you'll start to notice the emotion shift. Why? Well, the human body can only hold on to one emotion for 90 seconds, a minute and a half, and then it has to go somewhere. So why does it feel like emotions last a lot longer than that? Well, it's because we aren't holding space for them. We aren't allowing them to be processed and move through the body. We aren't giving them the time to be felt. I mean, I'll share with you that crying jag for a few hours. It's because I keep holding it in. I don't allow myself to actually have the full cry. I keep trying to restrict and go, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. If I just allowed myself to feel the sadness, to feel the grief, to experience it in my body fully for 90 seconds, it would then have to go somewhere. When we suppress it, when we don't allow that emotional state to be held, that's when it lasts longer. That's when it becomes more and more and more intense. So let's go back to the anger and frustration one. We're sitting there for 90 seconds. We're feeling it in our body. After 90 seconds, you're going to tune in again. Okay, where has it shifted? Where has it gone to? And what is the feeling? Can I name it now? So if I'm feeling angry and frustrated, it might shift and then I might go, actually, I'm angry and frustrated because I'm really disappointed. And then I'll feel disappointed. I'll set a timer, 90 seconds. Where is the disappointment in my body? Where am I feeling it? I'm not decoding what I'm disappointed about. I'm not going into story about it. I'm just allowing the feeling to be there. And by the way, when we're holding space for these feelings, we're not casting judgment on them. We're not critiquing them because there is no bad or good emotion. It's simply emotion. So I've been angry and frustrated and then I notice, oh, I'm disappointed. And I'm feeling into disappointment and then I set the timer for 90 seconds and I'm sitting there and I'm feeling it, and then the timer goes off. And then I check in again. Okay, what's happening? And I may notice that disappointment has now shifted to loneliness. And so I'm gonna sit with that. I'm gonna sit with it and I'm gonna feel it. I'm gonna feel where it is in my system. I'm not gonna create a story about the loneliness. I'm just going to sit with it for 90 seconds. 
And at this point, after three rounds of 90 seconds, oftentimes the body will come into a much calmer state. We won't be feeling that intensity of emotion any longer. For some people, it happens after the initial 90 seconds. But in my practice and in what I've seen, three rounds of 90 seconds of going with that first emotional response and then seeing what's under that and then seeing what's under that. Because remember, our emotional bodies are layered. We're complex beings. It's part of what makes us magical. And if we do the work to sit with these emotions, 90 seconds, 90 seconds, 90 seconds, we can start to peel back some layers. We can start to excavate, oh, the real reason that I was angry and frustrated is actually because I'm lonely. Okay, what is some action that I can do to make myself not feel so lonely anymore? To make myself not feel so isolated? When I take action based on the emotion that's actually informing what's happening in my system, then I'm taking care of myself. Then I'm empowered to make better choices for myself. Then I can ask for help. Then I can ask for support. Then I can reach out to others. The 90 second rule is a tool that we can use to manage our emotions in a healthy way. And I want you to give it a try. The next time you are feeling an intense emotion, set a timer, 90 seconds, see what happens. And remember, go in without judgment and critique, go in to observe what is happening in your system. I wanna know, do you use the 90 second rule or have you heard of it? Leave a note in the comments below. If you want to do a deeper dive into your emotional well-being, where we explore things like the 90 second rule and others, be sure to register for the Inner Fire membership program. I'm going to include a link for that in the description below. We have emotions and feelings about almost everything in our lives. Wouldn't it be great if we could manage those emotions in a healthy way? Give the 90 second rule a try and let me know how it goes for you. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it. Remember to subscribe to my channel and click on that bell to get notified when I release new videos every Monday and Thursday. Stay ignited out there and I will see you soon. Bye.